A Testament Against the World, The Lord's Rebuke, The Admiration of the Fallen, May 15th, 2011, from the Lord our God and Savior, the word of the Lord, given to Timothy and Jace, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, by his servant Timothy, Worry not, nor consider the things of the world, that you might acquire them, says the Lord. For all which you gain in the world shall soon pass from you, and all which is before your eyes shall soon crumble. For the destroyer is come out of his place. Lo, he is set free, and I shall not restrain him until the time. Behold, he sits upon his mount of white. Look how all these men in authority uplift him. See how the world places him upon his mount, high and lifted up. He carries his bow and conceals his arrows, and war follows close behind him. Death and destruction increase before him, with which he shall bridle many. And when opposed, he shall wield a whip and pull hard upon the reins, reaching even to the ends of the earth. For he is the first of the four riders, with the others following close behind, building in their strength increasing in his wake. And still the people say, We see no evil, we hear no evil. Yet evil shall surely consume them, and calamity shall overtake them as a flood. They are a desolate people, dry branches ready to be broken off. For the fear of the Lord is rarely found, not one of them trembles. Yet the admiration of men is clearly seen. It is well accepted. Therefore, their false admiration shall become a thick rope, with which they hang themselves from the rafters at noonday. Behold, the admiration of men shall fall, and as the evening shadow grows in length, until it has darkened the land, so shall the multitudes receive his strange counsel and believe his dark speeches. For I shall harden their hearts, that they should believe the lie. Until the cloak of their sin is worn without shame, until their nakedness is uncovered, and their lewdness exposed, then great violence shall break out in every corner, and perversion shall desecrate and pollute the land, even unto the holy city until the blood flows as in Egypt, and death overcomes them as in Sodom. For I know the hearts of men, their evils are not hidden. Yet those who lay hold on salvation, and grab hold of the Holy One of Israel, shall shine like the sun at noonday, though night has fallen. Yes, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, and fly. And those who remain with the seal of God upon their foreheads shall run. They shall run to and fro in all the earth, and none shall hinder them. I am the Lord. They shall leap upon the hills and tread them down. They shall scale high and jagged mountains and break them in pieces. Lo, every stronghold of man, even every tall tower which he has built up in his arrogance, and every city where Satan dwells, shall hear their shout and lay down in death. They shall crumble under the weight of fierce calamity. For I am the Lord, and I shall do this. Yes, I shall surely perform it, according to the words of my witnesses, which I shall cause them to speak. The wrath of God shall fall from heaven. Fire shall rain down from above, and a terrible sound shall rise up from beneath. A violent shaking. And still other places shall be beaten down in the height of summer. Lo, ice shall be there. The treasuries shall be opened, and all which I have stored up shall fall hard upon the cities of men. Even those who flee into the open field shall not escape, 
for the wrath of God is full. I am very wroth in my anger. Thus says the Lord by his servant Jace. The seasons and new moons shall go awry. Confusion shall break out amongst the multitudes, spreading forth throughout every land. Distress of all nations. The seas shall rage, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Nature shall rise up and fight against the kingdoms of men. Lo, it is risen up already, and they shall fall. Collapse shall surely ensue, and great shall be the sound of it. Yet the people shall not know from where it has come or where it is going. For the fear of the Lord is forgotten, and the knowledge of the Lord is hidden from their eyes. Yet it shall surely come to pass. It shall surely be accomplished. Even all I have purposed to do against them shall be, says the Lord of hosts.